Hello there. I look terrible, but I don't really care. I just wanted to make this video. Just kind of sharing some thoughts about Sims 4, where we're going, what's been going on. I mean, not that there's actually been a lot going on. <laughs> it's just, you know, the, the same old stuff that's been going on for a while now. Um, with the roadmaps and what have you. I know no one cares what I think, but I want to share it with the world anyway. Why not? I love this game. I love this community. And I want to contribute to it. So obviously, there was the roadmap. This is what they've been doing now for a bit, is they've released these roadmaps. They give us these cryptic clues <laughs> about what's going to be coming out. Um, usually there's a leak. <laughs> sometime not long after the roadmap is released or sometimes even before the roadmap's released. Full disclosure, when I saw the Simtimits, I was about to say Skimtimits, which wouldn't make sense. When I saw the like leak stuff of the Simtimits collection kit, I wasn't super thrilled. I mean this, I will always go back to the fact that the Sims 4 is a little bogus because what we just got in like the base game of Sims 3, or at least like we got an expansion pack for Sims 3 that had so much stuff, they break down into like two expansion packs, four game packs, three stuff packs, and then 17 kits. And that makes up like what you got in one expansion pack in The Sims 3. Okay. Um, so, you know, in, in The Sims 3, we kind of had this type of lingerie and stuff in the base game um and you know you got some additional things with other expansions but you didn't need to get a separate kit to, to, to have it in your game so i was a little annoyed but to be completely honest i had a lot of points on my credit card so <laughs> I felt justified in, in spending 10 of those on the two new kids. <laughs> Why not? It's essentially free because I just paid for my usual life expenses with my credit card and <laughs> I get two Sims kids right out of it. <laughs> that might be TMI, but you know, it's full disclosure. If I had to like pay out of pocket, like from my checking account <laughs> for my debit card for the Symptomits kit, I would probably be like, eh, $5. Anyway, so because I can use PayPal and use my points to get these kits, I, I have them now. The, the bathroom clutter kit, I was a little more, I like that they're doing these clutter kits. Again, I wish they would just kind of add more clutter through some of these Sim Drop things and what have you. But I like the addition of cl clutter. I like to build. I like the feeling of like that realistic, you know, having having clutter, having a a space feel lived in. So, um that's what's already come out. Um there was also the update. I mean, we did have an update on January 17th, I think it came. I don't think this is the big update they were teasing in the roadmap. Um because I know that's supposed to be more based around making babies more of a thing, which is nice. After literally years, I mean, this game has been out for nine years now, and for years people have been saying it is offensive that babies are like an object in this game. Can you please do something about it? Finally, they're listening and they're doing something about it. But I did see in the update they did release that they're making toddlers more um versatile in their looks um so they're supposed to look more like their parents um they're not supposed to all look exactly the same which definitely was a thing <laughs> okay and then finally the roadmap tease an expansion pack that i know most of the theories are that it's going to be kind of like a generations and i i think that does make sense it's it's pretty clear that 
you know, it's all relative was was on the uh the roadmap and everything. I mean, I don't necessarily see how the Simtimits thing fits in great with that. I mean, I don't know. It's, I mean, it's not completely removed, but it's also not the most obvious. I, I, to some extent, obviously, if the expansion's going to be like generations, then it does make sense because, you know, it, I mean, The Sims 3 generations encompassed everything from toddlers through to elders. And I hope with every fiber of my being that that's what they're going to do with this expansion that it's it's going to encompass pretty much everything other than young adults and adults <laughs> and teens really we just need something that's improving the gameplay for children toddlers and and elders because at this point it's just like um, but, you know, we'll see. That's still to be seen. Um, but I would be thrilled. I would be absolutely thrilled if it was something kind of similar to Generations. Um, I, when I made the videos about high school years, um, I made it very clear <laughs> that I was irate that they were making coming out with something that was just focused on teens teens already have so much in this game we didn't need more for them uh what we do need more for <laughs> however we do need more for children toddlers elders babies which apparently they're going to address um so yeah i i really am just making this video to kind of give my two cents again not that anyone cares <laughs> And now I guess I'm going to kind of look, I mean, I know everyone knows what's in these kits. Everyone knows. I'm sure everyone has seen the toddler stuff, but I'm going to look at it anyway, because screw it. So, Symptomates. Latest in lounging, we can update the intimate wardrobe and fashions based on current material, color, and pattern trends. Lacy bodysuits, variety of underwear styles, and boxers with playful prints will have your Sims bedrooms feeling like runways. <laughs> and it's intimate, not exclusive, so we're trying to inspire confidence in every Sim. So they collaborated with me undies to create styles that look good on a variety of body types. So it will help Sims look bold, flirty, and charming in the bedroom. Okay, and then we've got the bathroom clutter kit, family room. This kit has something for everyone generations from cute wall decal for kids to grandma's dentures hmm. uh create a realistic picture of a family by adding little touches for all ages and then personalize personal space transform your sims bathroom into an elegant retreat where they can escape life's mayhem or let the mayhem spill over into this space as well with this kit you can create spaces that reflect the personalities of a variety of sims it's something that i do kind of like about kids that they can do these little things but to me the reality is they should come out with this expansion pack that is like generations and it has all this stuff in it. We shouldn't have to spend $10 to get these. And what's annoying is so right now EA has a 50% off sale going on for all things Sims except the kits. The kits are never included in the sales. And I get from their perspective that, oh, we're only charging $5. so. We're not going to sell it for two fifty, But they also used to do it where, like, when they'd have sales going on, the expansion packs were 50% off, game packs were 50% off, and stuff packs were, like, 30% off or 25% off, something like that. So do the kits, like, 15% off. Give us something. I just think it's a little lame. You know, I, I know that most people agree with this, and this has been voiced before, but... Mm. I'm just saying it again. So, I guess we've got to go to this. I mean, yeah, a lot of this stuff is really cute. Goodness, this girl is ripped. Ooh, bonsai. Um, okay. 
I mean, it. this is all cute. I really like this, actually. This is adorable. Um, can we take off her accessories and then let's make her hair up so that I can see things better? <laughs> yeah, I really love this. Um, this is probably something I'll use a lot. Um, I really like this as well. <laughs> Pizza. Hmm. I love that we have different- oh my god, that's really funny. Um, I like the different swatches, that's super cute. Oh my god, the underboob, I can't. This is adorable, and I mean this can also be used kind of as a top if you wanted to. And this, I mean, are other things in- is is there anything- I, I also can't stand that they have kits as like one thing. It's so stupid. Um, okay. Okay, so yeah, these are all the tops. This underboob one, I find hilarious. Because that is, like, such a trend right now. <laughs> oh, goodness. Although this would be, like, such an uncomfortable bra. Just putting that out there. I mean, I guess you could kind of use this as, like, a bathing suit top. Like, even this, like, these could be used as bathing suit tops, which I like. Even this one could. Oh my god, all of these look like such uncomfortable bras, though. Like, that back is terrible. This is not good huh. for you, just FYI. To have uh, straps, like, so far up your... <laughs> like, close, like, here, mm. where your muscle is. It's not good. It's not good. Don't do it to yourself. This one looks comfortable. Full coverage, you know. Really ah. nice. And uh, that one looks okay, too. You know, a little strappy and lacy, but it's fine. I don't know why this is the... <laughs> <laughs> the metric I'm judging on right now. <laughs> How comfortable they look. <laughs> All right. Um. So, and then, yeah, we have counterparts, basically, to each one. Oh, this is super cute. I love that we got a... Oh, but it has that weird... I really hate... <laughs> I'm so annoyed with the fact that they literally said, we teamed up with MeUndies mm -hmm. to make everything body positive and look good on all body types. And then they have the gall to release this item that does this weird thing. Hmm. <laughs> I hate it. And like, ugh, look at that. Just <laughs> like scrunches up her belly. Oh, I'm I'm pissed. <laughs> I'm honestly pissed. All right, we're gonna put these terrible pants on her, just to make a point, and we'll put this because it matches hmm. well with it. Although I don't know why we wouldn't have like this um strap band as like the top here. Whatever. I'm assuming we didn't get any shoes with this. Maybe we got, like, slippers or something. No, we didn't. Here, we'll just put these sneakers on her. All right, cool. Um, Randomize. I don't care. It doesn't matter. Um, oh, I don't need... The name is oh. Bailey Houlihan. Hmm. <laughs> Great. Cool beans. And then we're going to have... Algarez Winkira. So that we can see things. Hmm. This looks like a child. Um, oh great. Okay, huh. you want to be a mixologist. Your name is Ramiro Na Nagy Nagy. I don't know how you pronounce that. Um I mean this is cute. I don't know necessarily how this fits into the and uh, as always, we got like 75 things for women, one top for a man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there better be a lot. Okay, good. There's more with this. I mean, cool. I like that we have different mm. kind of, you know, like boxers and briefs. <laughs> cool. Cool. Oh, the pants work fine on him, though. <laughs> All right, then. I see how it is. Um, let's have them wear the same pants, and then he can wear this <laughs> top. <laughs> I mean, mm. this is nice. I just don't really get how it goes with the theme. 
I don't know. I'm a little lost on this one. <laughs> I think we hit the mar- the or, no opposite. <sighs> we missed the mark with the Symptomates thing. Um, mm. which again is why I wouldn't have bought it in the first place. Okay. Now I guess really. I mean, to be honest, I don't really see a huge difference between this toddler and how toddlers used to look. Um, yeah, I, I don't know what to say. <laughs> Reese. Okay, so this is a nice family. Oh, sorry, I didn't give Reese any. He's silly. I mean, I guess his cheeks are, like, higher. I I don't know. I don't know. Look at the, the hot weather outfits we've got going on here. <laughs> Sometimes I hate this game. Sometimes. Alright, let's see here what we've got in terms- Once again, we've got to friggin' just put kits, which is even more annoying in Build and Buy, because I have- Okay, good. At least, no, some of these things are. I mean, this is cute. I like that, especially if you're gonna do, like, a house where you have maybe, like, an ensuite bathroom for the parents, and then the kids have their own bathroom, and, you know, that's cute for that purpose. And then, but also you could use these in, like, a kid's room. Oh my god, that is adorable. I can't. I'm dying. I love that so much. <laughs> Okay, cool. And then I'm interested to see, I'm sure they, there's no slot, but I wish they would add slots on these, like, little sides of the, I'm, like, trying to point with my hand <laughs> at the screen, as if you'll be able to see what I mean. But, like, here, you know, and here, I wish they would put slots where you could put clutter, because, you know, I could put, like, this up there, which would be really nice, but of course, that's way too much to ask. Um, let's just put it all out here. I mean, this is cool, you know. I like this a lot. We don't have enough of these kind of, um, soap, bar of soap things. And the ones we do have are, like, not normal looking. <laughs> like, they're not things you would have at your house, so. I like that. I like that we have two different tubes of toothpaste. <laughs> I love this. There's nowhere to put it in this bathroom, but I love that. I I absolutely love this, too. And this does make me feel like maybe finally we're starting to acknowledge there are elders in this game. He. Um, what's this? Combs? That's cute. A lot of this stuff you could even put in the, in like a bedroom. Like, you know, this could go on like the vanity. Or not vanity, that's the bathroom. <laughs> You know, it could go on, like, a dresser if you have, like, the mirror above the dresser or something like that. Um, okay, we've got this. This is cute. I really like that the toothpastes are all, like, kind of the same type of thing. Like, it's all the same brand, essentially. Okay, that's in their household inventory now. Oh my god, I love this. Sorry to jump ahead, but this is everything. So realistic. Like, finally. What swatches do we have? Do we have just, uh, yes, yeah, see that? Oh my goodness. Like that, honestly, it ties the whole room together. <laughs> also, just not that, like, um, I'm actually playing with this family, but they do need a bathtub. Oh my god, and we've got, like, a fancy toothbrush. That's cool. Um, I also kind of want to look at the descriptions of these and see if we see anything that might hint at what the expansion pack's gonna be because occasionally that does happen. Beanstalk bathroom decals. In a world where imagination can take you anywhere, the possibilities are endless. This wall decal is here to help make bath and potty time fun and imaginative. Okay, so again, we're acknowledging like toddlers, children, Imagination can take you anywhere. Remember in The Sims 3 when you got... <laughs> what was it? When the baby was born or when they turned into a toddler, you got that weird imaginary friend thing in the mail? <laughs> and it would, like, grow with them if they interacted with it? Are we gonna get something like that? That was a little creepy. <laughs> 
Fight bad breath and start your day off fresh with Llama Fairy's Tooth Liqueur. Okay, Llama Fairy. That could also be something, like, in a child's life. Like, you know, like, you Tooth Fairy, Llama Fairy. Could be a thing. Like, the same way we have, like, the monster come out of the bed. Like, it's, uh, you can, like, the kid will lose a tooth and you can act as the Llama Fairy. That would be super cool. I don't actually think we're going to get that, but I love that as an idea for this game. Just putting that out there. Okay, so now let's get back to it. Oh my god, I didn't want to do that. <laughs> this is actually a super funny description of this. Um, I'll read it quick because of like the craziness around toilet paper <laughs> with, with the beginning of the pandemic. Lone paper. On a wall, it's considered hygienic, but on the surface, most view it as currency. In fact, there was a time not long ago when Sims considered this material invaluable beyond all others. Show off your wealth in a unique way. Stock up on this commodity, show it off to your friends, and see what all the rave is about. <laughs> That's very funny. Um, so this is a fragrance jar. I wonder if you can actually interact with that. Um... Like, you know how you can, if you have spa day, you can do a bath that has, like, lavender or, like, rose petals in it or something. I wonder if you could, like, interact with that and then do that bath. That would be cool. And then it wouldn't cost extra money. Mm -hmm. I'm glad that we got a new hand soap thing. Like, that one, we only had one option. <laughs> glad to have some variety electric razor i mean that's really cool considering with um the high school years we got the uh you know the body hair growth thing so that's kind of a nice touch i'm so happy we have this too because this is like such a thing i've wanted oh my goodness that's so great it fits so perfectly what a nice addition. What a nice touch. I mean, I wish we had, like, more options, you know. Like, maybe a couple different ones of those, but that's too much to ask, I know. I also love this. This is so great. This is something we should have had in The Sims so long ago. Of course, it's going to be weird placement, unless you do that, but, you know. This has been missing from our lives for so long. Such a basic thing that they could have added forever ago. <laughs> Don't know why they waited. Okay, I like that this is... So this um, description is referencing uh, preventing slips and falls in the bathroom. Also a thing that older people are concerned about. You know? I wonder if this is actually, like, oh yeah, it does have some, does it have light that comes out of it? No, it doesn't. I mean, it, like, looks lit up, but it's not really light. Yeah, no, it's not really giving off light in any kind of considerable way. <laughs> we've got this new toilet paper thing, which is cool, because again, for all time, we've only had this one. So that's nice. I always love that on the toilet papers they have both kind of, uh, you know, configurations of how to place, how to do toilet paper, which, by the way, this is how you do it, not that. I will fight someone if you disagree. All right, we've got this little organizer thing, which is cute. Of course, the placement is super weird. Like, why shouldn't it fit there? It's not intersecting with anything, but, you know. And then we've got, like, the the messed up one. I mean, these are cool because, again, you can, like, put these in a, a bedroom. They don't necessarily have to go in the bathroom. And I wonder if you can put this on. Oh, yes. Cool. I like that. All right. Nice. Um, I also like that they have these, too. So, like, you know, there's... Which all of the kind of towel things we have look like this. But I like that we also have this one that's, like, disheveled. And, you know, 
the description of this one is give your bathroom a truly lived in and shamelessly messy look that portrays a sense of bold disarray with a verbose tone of disregard. <laughs> Sims with these towels like to show that they live on the edge. Um, but I do kind of like, I feel like that is hinting towards, you know, family oriented, like having a messy house, um, you know, like a lived in environment. I, I like that. Oh, I love this. I love when they give us these. They're just so nice. This is super cute. I love when they give us candles. And I love that candle. Oh my goodness. I'm going to be using that everywhere all the time. Okay, so we've got this nightlight. And it does say nobody likes feeling afraid of the dark. Which is definitely kind of a hinting at kids. Children. You know. It's a must have for kids. Um, I think that's, that's it. We'll never know because, of course, the way they have this separated makes it impossible to really know. Okay, let's just put a bathtub in here so that this family can live and then... Oh, I don't need kits. I'm just going to use that one and then we can put this nice thing over it, right? That's cool. So nice. Um, so yeah, I guess, you know, I, I do, I love the bathroom clutter stuff. Yeah, no, there's no interaction with that. I should have known that that was too crazy of a thought. Is this a bird? Whoa. That's a little freaky. I don't like that. Okay. <laughs> okay, so, I mean, I think my general preconceived notions of what I was going to think of these kits is effectively confirmed. Symptomates kind of missed the mark. I mean, in typical Sims 4 fashion, we have a ton of stuff for female Sims or female identifying Sims, and we have not very much for male slash male identifying Sims. And then also, we still have yet to solve the problem of certain pants uh, making the sims look weird and i really don't like that the problem exists for female sims but not for male sims that's pretty lame um so that definitely missed the mark but the bathroom clutter kit is amazing i absolutely love it it's fantastic i feel like the jury's still out on the toddler thing i guess maybe just using one one toddler is not a big enough sample size to really um, draw any conclusions, but I'm too lazy to go into a whole thing of like doing all different toddlers and comparing them. Maybe, maybe some other time. Um, And then finally, I definitely do think that some of the bathroom clutter stuff does tend to confirm that we're probably going in the sort of generations direction for the expansion pack um which i would love to see i would love more focus on elder sims toddlers children even babies which again we're supposed to be getting that update because that to me is what's missing more than anything else in this game like it, it I can't think about it too much because I honestly get upset because that like my favorite thing about The Sims 3 was the family game gameplay like having the sleepovers and like having the actual like prom event that I mean I get that they added prom in the um you know with the the high school years thing but it's a little lame I kind of preferred it as like a rabbit hole thing I don't love it as an actual event that I have to attend and like do a whole thing um particularly with the way that the game set up were like I I can't just switch between sims easily when they're on different lots like I can't just casually like send this person off to prom and maybe set up a few interactions and then go over to like another family member who's doing something else like you could in the sims 3 i have to like go through a whole load screen and then everything i did with the 
one sim is completely lost and they're just off doing their own thing. Like, it's not, it's kind of not fun. It's, it's really not. Whereas the rabbit hole with prom was actually fun. Like, you picked the dress, there was the whole thing, like, the limo, they get in the limo. Oh my goodness. I'm, I, I just love thinking about it. And The Sims 4, I don't love thinking about these things. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I think we're going that direction. I'm sure it won't be that long until we get kind of like a teaser. You know, they'll announce what the pack is and we'll get our little teaser trailer that will probably make it look a million times better than it actually is. Sorry to be cynical, but <laughs> that's what we've come to expect with this game. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to it, but I've been burned too many times before. Like, I don't want to get myself excited for something that's going to be a dud. I do hope, though, that the fact that they're releasing an expansion pack earlier in the year means that maybe we'll get two expansion packs this year, because the last two years they did an expansion pack in the summer, and that was the only expansion pack we got. So the fact that we're getting an expansion in like the first part of the year, maybe that means we'll get another one in summer, or maybe, you know, in by the end of the year, <laughs> you know, like may maybe we'll get more than one, which would be nice. <sighs> I don't know. I guess that's all I have to say at this point. Um, so yeah. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you liked the video, please like it. Uh, share it with your friends. Subscribe to my channel for more gaming content. Um, and yeah, leave comments. Let me know what you think about these kits. What your thoughts are on what this expansion pack's gonna be. Um... And anything, really. <laughs> Let me know your thoughts. Uh, so yeah, thank you for watching. See you around.